Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Devin K the model. So for today's video, we're gonna do a little quick makeup look. I have some new eyeshadows that I wanna try out in a palette. So I'm going in and of course applying my Queen V Studio Dragon Lash Mascara to get us started off for this makeup tutorial. Next, it's time for my favorite part. You guys should know by now, my eyebrows. So I'm gonna apply some Icy Soul Primer to my eyebrows and my eye area just to get it all prepped up. And then we are going to go in with our eyebrow mascara from Perfect Brows. After that, I'm going to go in and clean them up and line up under them with my NYX Concealer in Nude Beige. All right, you guys, so this is just me going in, applying my concealer to both of my eyebrows, letting it dry for a while, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend it in with my finger. I just found that this makes it look a lot smoother than me trying to like blend it with a makeup brush or with a Q-tip. I normally use a Q-tip, but basically um, my finger has become my new best friend when it comes to my eyebrows. <laughs> Also, to make the concealer more like pliable and blend better, I like to blow on it to warm it up a little um, so that it's warm and easier to apply on my skin. It makes it so much easier. All right, you guys, so it's time to put that finger to work and blend out my eyebrows and that concealer there. Now that I'm satisfied with my eyebrows, I'm going in with my Nude Shimmer Eyeshadow Primer and applying that over my brow bone. Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. So this is the makeup palette that I'm going to be using. It's by Me Makeover Essentials. It's Palette Passion 10. And this is the most nerve-wracking part because I am not good at my makeup yet. So I'm going in, I'm prepping my eyes with my concealer in NYX Nude Beige to get them ready to apply the eyeshadow. I want to do like a brown, like orange kind of look. So we're going to be using a few different brown shades and then like a rose gold kind of copper eyeshadow as well on there so i'm going in first with that dark brown that is going to be the base for this makeup look Alright you guys, so now we are going in and we are applying the same brown eyeshadow to our other eyelid and then I'm just going to make sure I like how much I've applied, that both my eyes look the same, you know, all of that lovely good stuff. Okay, you guys, so now we're going to apply that like copper browns, like rose gold color that I told you guys about. I'm applying that to my inner eye because I want that to be like brighter in that area. So I'm just applying that to both eyes. I'm making sure I like how bright it is and how much I've applied. And then we're going to go in with a like purplish color from the passion 10 palette and we're gonna apply that to the brow bone and then we're gonna go in and we're just gonna blend both of our eyes so that the makeup looks really seamless and there's not like harsh makeup lines between the different colors that we use for the eye and when it comes to blending i always feel like more is best so like just blend until you like how your makeup is looking, how it's smoothed out. Okay, you guys, so it's that time, blendy time. We're just gonna blend, 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 blend. This is just like an eyeshadow brush. Um, I just use it for a blending brush because I like like it's really loose and it's small so it's like super super easy to blend eyeshadows with. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I'm getting ready to apply my foundation. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up under my eyes, any eyeshadow that might've gotten on there, and then around my eyes too, just to make sure everything is prepped and ready. Okay, you guys, so now I'm going in and I'm gonna apply a layer of primer all over my face. This is my Icy Soul Sherbert Primer that I got in my Boxy Charm box. Um, as far as this primer goes, I don't really have like a good or bad feeling for it. Like, I don't really notice that much of a difference when I do or don't use it, but I don't know. I just like using it, so I use it. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so now I'm going in with my NYX concealer again in nude beige. I'm just applying it to my little perfections and then I'm going to blend it out with my blending sponge. Little tip, it really helps if you get it damp. I don't know why, but the makeup spreads so much easier and then it makes it like so much more seamless. So this hack really, really helps. And then after I do that, I'm going to go in and I'm going to set it with my Well People Translucent Setting Powder that I have and then I'm gonna get ready to apply some liquid foundation oh my gosh you guys and then I totally forgot so like I've been watching little makeup videos on like TikTok so like this girl said that when you set your face you're supposed to let it sit on there for one to two minutes I don't know why I haven't researched the why yet but yeah let your setting powder sit for one or two minutes and then go back in and blend it Okay, you guys, <laughs> so now it's time for my attempt at a horrible contour because I don't really know how to contour and I don't have the correct like makeup shades and stuff to even contour my face. So this is just me going in and like blending out my contour and then I went in and I lined around my eyebrows. I kind of let my um, concealer sit on there for too long so it kind of dried. So I just re-wet my makeup sponge and that like reactivated the makeup and made it like spread and smooth seamless so the little damp um blending sponge hack is so so awesome you guys like oh my god and also when you're applying your makeup it's okay to make mistakes because it's makeup you can just cover it up and fix it it's like your face is a piece of art so don't worry if you mess up you guys Okay, so now we're gonna apply my NYX Total Control Liquid Concealer in Classic Tan. You guys can see where like I did my contour and like, yeah, I don't know. It usually all comes together in the end. Like I just really blend my face out a lot when I apply my um, concealer and foundation and everything so we're just gonna apply and again you guys get your little blender sponge damp so that you can easily apply your makeup and also it helps you not apply too much and then I'm resetting my contour with my well people translucent setting powder I'm gonna go in I'm gonna set around my mouth I'm gonna set my chin under my eyes and then my forehead area where I get some creases as well and then of course, we're gonna let it sit for a minute or two. And then we're gonna go in with our brush and we're just gonna blend it in and brush it off. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna apply my bronzer to my cheekbones. I got this bronzer from Avon. I don't remember the shade right now, but all the products are gonna be listed in the description for the video. So you'll literally know everything that I use because I'm not a gatekeeper, guys. I want everybody to win. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so now I'm applying my lashes I got from Lash Blash. Um, I'm using lashes this time because in my last video, I couldn't use them. So I want to like show you guys how it looks with lashes. So this is just an up-close um, view of it. 
and i really struggled putting these on like you guys are gonna see at the end like one of my eyes the lash is sitting like super high up so it looks like i have like an eye lift and then the other one i guess i didn't place it on the right way so like my eye looks so super super droopy on. um these are the same lashes but they look different to me i don't know why so we're just gonna go ahead and do some finishing touches real quick um, I'm gonna apply some lip stain and some lip gloss. And then I was gonna put on some blush, but I don't even have it out here. So I'll probably just skip the blush for real, you guys. But this was just me trying to practice my makeup because I have shoots coming up and stuff. And like I said, some, they do makeup, some it's all on me and I don't wanna be in there looking retarded. Oh, and this is my Laura Mercy Air, Mercy A, Mercy Air, however you pronounce her name. This is her setting powder. It's the glowy one, and I'm kind of going for a glowy look with this. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of this as well. I don't even use this as a setting powder, to be honest. I just use it as a, as a bronzer to give me a glow. This is a lip stain. It's called Shroom. I got this on Wish, you guys, and I got it like years ago, so it's probably dried out. Yeah, it's dried out. So since it's dried out, we're not gonna use it. We'll just use this lipstick. This is from Milani, and I love it because it's like a super pretty gold shimmer. And it's also like a matte. It's not like silky or anything. It's really, really dry. So if I don't want a matte, I usually use my lip oil that I got in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. Um, and just add a little there. And then Give you guys a nice close up of the finished look. All right, so you guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I really tried to work on my lighting and get it better, especially since I'm doing like makeup videos, but yeah. Again, you guys, I'm going to post all the makeup and the details that I used in the video in the video description. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. Um, for beginning makeup artists, I hope it helped you. Um, I'm really not that good at makeup yet either, so I love just trying to create like different looks and practice them. So you guys, everybody stay safe, happy, positive, and productive. Until next time, from your girl, Debbie K, the model.